Airlines have already canceled hundreds of flights in anticipation of the storm. So if you plan on flying anywhere, you should check your flight status before you head to the airport. And the storm is changing travel plans for basketball teams heading to the Queen City for the NCAA tournament. News 4's Ali Ingersoll is live in downtown Buffalo with how the weather is creating travel issues during March Madness. Ali? Brittany, you can see some flurries already falling here in Buffalo. Reputation of being a winter wonderland. For some people, though, it's actually going to be like a getaway for those teams and those people who are coming from along the East Coast and they're supposed to get slammed with that nor'easter. It'll be pretty nice with how much snow to the, that we're expecting here in this area, but it also means that the fans, players, and coaches are having to look at their travel itineraries and make some last minute changes. Eight NCAA teams will be Buffalo bound. For several teams, the first opponent they have to take on is Mother Nature. The team is uh, adjusting for the weather. Uh, last I heard, we expected to leave today. Overall, number one seed Villanova, Princeton, and Bucknell are changing their travel plans while sticking to the same game plan. The three schools' basketball programs are heading into town today. There are three schools in the big dance that are located in the path of a big storm. In a non weather situation, I think Tuesday would have been the usual travel time. If you look at the northeast, nor'easter that's coming in over there, it's going to be much more extreme with the high winds and blizzard warnings. And uh, so I think what they're going to do is they're not going to get totally out of the snow, but they, they, we won't have that blizzard. The city's public works commissioner says they've been preparing and will be on top of their game, ready to clear sidewalks and streets. But we'll deal with it. We have plenty of salt on hand. Crews are you know, anxious to get out there and get the job done. He says safety is no game for them, always a top priority during winter storms, and feels the increased number of people who will be in the downtown area when this storm rolls through makes it critical that everyone is prepared. We're going to have a lot of people who are kind of unfamiliar with the area and walking around that uh, driver alertness and preparation is, is very key in, in elements like this. And the snow just adds to that, that, that awareness that you have to have. The commissioner says the streets department is ready and they're excited to show off the Queen City to thousands of eager fans. That give yourself that ample opportunity to get to where you need to go. Uh, make sure that you don't try to crunch it all, you know, at the last minute, give yourself some time, get familiar with the city, and uh, have a pleasant experience. The commissioner is reminding people to have some patience, too, as there will be a lot of out-of-towners driving around the city this weekend. He also says, be kind to them. Show them what the city of good neighbors is all about. Fans are expected to start arriving on Wednesday. Games here start on Thursday. Reporting live from Key Bank Center, Ali Ingersoll, News 4 at noon.